Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, I created this update question part of a quiz or exam management system project. In this video, I'm going to create a new JFrame for this all question part of this project. So let us start. Let me close this application. Now the first thing is we need to create a new JFrame. So here I'm just creating new JFrame form. And here I'm just writing all question clicking on finish and the first thing is we are going to increase the size is to 1066 comma 535 okay after that we are going to the properties and first always set is to always on the top after that we are going to remove the min max and close button from this and after that we are going to set the location where this form will be open so for that we are moving here and the x-axis we are setting it to 150 and the y-axis I am setting it to 183 okay so okay just close this now save it and the first thing is we need to insert here the label so I am inserting a label and going to the properties and this one is for the all questions so I am selecting all question PNG images and after that we are removing the label name here and again we are inserting another label and we actually we are going to read this text and setting it all question okay and we also increasing the font size okay and styles also so first we are changing this style to this one making it as bold and making it as 40 okay okay just close this now now one more thing we just need to insert a button here to close this form so for that we are taking this button and in this I'm going to insert and close PNG images okay uh, let me edit this text and remove it let me place it perfectly uh, side okay and after that here we need a separator so I'm just choosing it from the swing menu and I'm going to place it here uh, let me increase the size is to max of this form okay and after that we just need to uh, insert a table here to display all the questions so for that here you can see there's a table option let me place it okay and uh, let me check out the size it did not change or not it's a 535 let me set it to 535 okay it's not changing so let me decrease the size it by first okay after that we will decrease it it get changes 535 okay now let me increase the size of this table at left side okay and right side also and let me also increase the size a little bit down okay and let me save it now you can see uh, our form has created and we also need to insert image in the background for that we are changing to absolute layout after that we are going to insert a label here and going to the properties I am selecting an image page background admin let me close this let me place it perfectly here and uh, let me double click on this and can see here the name let me delete this and after that we have to save and now our front end part has been completed now we have to write the code for the back end so for that first uh, we are going to connect this page with the admin module so I am moving to the admin module and in this we have to right click on this uh, and going to event and make sure you are moving to the mouse clicked event and here you can see mouse click event has been generated and I am going to copy this code to this and I will explain you the about the open variable and all by using if else condition so if you are not seen my previous videos just go to description and check out my link and we have to send this page to uh, all question part okay so set to visible and true okay you can see this one is connected with the all question 
after that we need to write the code in the close button so let's double click on it or you can see we can move into event action here and in this we just need to write admin home dot open equals to zero and set visible to oh, sorry false here i'm just going to write okay after this we need to write to display the details of uh, questions in this table so for that first we need here a jar file that is as to xml so for that first you need to google it and download that jar file from google and extract that file and you just need to add it to the library just to uh, into add jar file you just there is the option add jar file or folder just click on it and you can see i just selected the folder location that's why it's showing directly r to s to xml you can see our the folder directory path you can say just double uh, double click on it and it will get added in our project or you can say library let me show you click on it you can see r s to xml jar file has been added okay after that we have to import to here package project package import java dot sql dot asterisk okay after that import uh, project package with the connection provider class after this we need to display data so if we are going to write the in the here we are going to write the codes so try catch and here i'm just writing exception e and in this okay it's showing exception what type of exception i automatically get removed not a problem connection connection con equals to we have to connection provider class you can see connection provider class dot get connection after that the statement statement st equals to con dot create statement and after that result result set rs equals to st dot execute query we have to use and in this we have to write the query that query is select start from okay i forget to space here okay question we just need to write a table name after that we need to display the data in the table so j table dot set model model okay and in this we just need to write db util util you can see dot result set result set table module yeah and in this we have to write the rs it automatically taken so you just need not need to write it okay after that in the catch any exception will be generated in that case we just need to display the message g option fan dot show message here my set dialog null and whatever the exception is it will display so our back part uh, back end part is also completed so let me run this admin home page so run file let me click on all the questions okay you can see all the details of the question id you can say one you can see the name you can see the option option 2 option 3 option 4 and you can see the answer also let me close it let me add some question let me add whatever writing okay let me copy the option 4 here and let me paste it here successfully updated okay let me close this and here you can see all the details of the question number 2 so in this way you can add new question and you can also see all the questions here so this is all about all question in the next video i am going to show you how to delete any question question in this project so stay tuned with us please hit like and subscribe my channel thank you